The Guardians of the Galaxy director took over as chief of DC Studios along with Peter Safran. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more video. While Marvel gears up for its multiversal saga finale with Avengers, Doomsday and Secret Wars, James Gunn's DCU finally seems to be inching toward its beginning. The DC Universe has been plagued by mismanagement and unplanned crossovers, resulting in a reboot with Gunn's new and improved DCU, which begins with Superman. Last year, Gunn announced with his co-chief Peter Safran the first chapter of the DCU, which would feature gods and monsters such as Superman, Supergirl, The Authority, and more. He compared the development of the franchise to Marvel and mentioned that it was being planned properly as opposed to Marvel's more improvised approach to Phase 1. The word, planning, and DC movies rarely go hand in hand as audiences have been privy to the number of bad management decisions taken by WB with regard to the DCU. Starting with Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, the studio quickly pushed for an Avengers Ace crossover with Justice League. After multiple failures, the DCEU was finally put to rest with last year's Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom, and James Gunn's DCU was announced. The filmmaker revealed a number of